There is no certain time for death, and it can come at any time. We all know this is the truth. Yet, some reports say most death occurs at night, usually between the times 3am to 4am. Some reports that this is the time when the immunity of the body is most vulnerable. And if this is to be believed, some reports say that a person who faces accidents in this time have a high percentage of chances of not surviving. Science tells us that this is the time in a day when the body tries to prepare for the activities of the next day. The brain is busy trying to decipher memory and tries to dispose of information it thinks it is irrelevant. Imagine your brain is a hard drive on a computer. Every night when you sleep, your hard drive is doing a disk cleanup. This gives the enough brain enough hard drive to log future happenings. Around 3am, studies have found that adrenaline and anti-inflammatory hormones are at their lowest, which causes airways to narrow. According to Harvard Medical Research, spasm-triggering compounds are also at the highest at this time and therefore a person is more likely to die. There is also a religious belief that 3am is when you should pray to God. It says that the difference between the spiritual world and earth is very thin at this hour and it is easy for one to transfer to the other world. This is probably the reason that the darkest rituals and rituals relating to the devil are always done at around 3am to 4am. Another time study has found that it is common you could die at 11am. Or, if you're of an older generation, you have a 14% chance of dying on your birthday. Happy birthday to you! A new study published in the Annals of Neurology identifies a common gene variant affecting circadian rhythms. And that variant, it seems, could also predict the time of day you will die. Now, it's going to get a bit technical here, but bear with me. Circadian rhythms regulate things like preferred sleep periods and the time of peak cognitive performance. They also regulate the times during which we are likely to experience an acute medical event like a stroke or heart attack. Now this study also talks about social jet lag. Social jet lag is the phenomenon through which our natural circadian rhythms are undermined by rigidly collective social schedules. So, when we work and we raise a family, we are unconsciously made to wake up early, keep up and have a busy day and go to bed at a reasonable time. Ever started your holiday and come down with a very awful cold? Social jet lag. Our internal body clock has suddenly changed. However, when we retire, after a period of time, we start to go to bed later, get up later and our minds aren't so active. We tend to tune in to what our bodies want to do, not what our schedule tells us to do. The bodies of retired people respond more readily to their body's cues than those of younger people in terms of sleeping, waking and eating. It seems that the way older people live affects the way in which we die. As a result, people's retirement can actually bring them a kind of cruel regularity when it comes to their deaths. But the good news is, this has some dependence on your DNA. There is a certain DNA in some people's body called A. 36% of people have AA. This is where you inherit a chromosome that has endoniazine in. When you inherit this from both parents, you end up with two lots, which is AA. 16% of people have two Gs, guanine. Again, one G chromosome inherited from each parent 
resulting in two lots of quinine. And 48% have one of each, so AG. So when a study looked at a group of older but healthy people, mostly over 65, so they were retired, they found that the AAs tend to wake up about one hour before the GGs, with the AGs in the middle. So, what the study believe they found is that people who have two AAs have somewhat higher amounts of protein called period one in their cells. Are you still with me? It's a bit tricky. This is believed to cause individuals' biological clocks to run a bit faster. What this means is that the individual, if left to their own devices, i.e. without a schedule, would tend to get up a bit earlier every day. With an itinerary, these people adjust their timing a bit each day to stay at a socially acceptably early schedule, which on average is about an hour earlier than GG's. So, without this social etiquette, individuals with the AA chromosome would be getting up earlier and earlier each day. They would soon be getting up in the middle of the night and going to bed before dinner time. This obviously would cut down on their ability to socialise with other people. Let's look at people with dementia. This is a classic example of the AA chromosome at work. You've heard that people with dementia sometimes have no routines with bedtime. They're up in the middle of the night, they're going to bed during the day. So the majority of these people may have the AA chromosome, which has taken over as they have lost the ability to know that social etiquette and reason tells you it's too early to get up or too early to go to bed. Thus, since circadian rhythms control sleep and wakefulness, alertness, blood pressure, heart efficiency, it stands to reason that the flip side could be true as well that the rhythms then stimulate the human activity could also stimulate its end. But how does all this mean that people are going to die at 11am? Well, according to SAPRA, different biological processes that lead to death occur earlier in the day in the AAs than the GGs. So there is a reason why I had to go through all the AAs and the GGs from about 3 to 4 a.m. to about noon, cardiac death increases. This is thought to be associated with hormone increases like cortisol and adrenaline. These increase blood pressure and heart rate, pushing people with heart rate problems over the edge and causing cardiac death. In general, each type of death tends to occur at a particular time of day. This is based on what physiological events tend to trigger it and when those physiological events actually occur in an individual. Therefore, in layman's term, the biological click ticks in each and every one of us during these events. A larger proportion of the population carries the AA gene variant and phonotypically they share similarities with the AG group. As a result of all the factors listed by SAPA, that group is more likely to die earlier in the day. So on average, that is around 11 a.m.